Well, here we are, the Don Cherry Podcast again. And Tim, I'm giving you the $200, and you're taking the $200 to Cindy for her pet rescue with a, a thing. Cindy, you owe them $100 bucks too, don't I you? I owe them $100 too, and don't think that I'm taking the money. It's going to the Don Cherry Pet Rescue Foundation. Right. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, we you know, I, everybody knows that we bet that I said Biden was going to win. And in, in the Joe Warmington's part, you were saying that I was rooting for Biden. That really, was a great write-up, by the way, yes. too. Yeah. Uh, Joe always comes he, through for Joel us. Joe comes through all the time for us. But, it. you know, I, I, I wasn't rooting for Biden or Biden, but... But what I said to you, Dad, was I said the problem with Trump was you can't go to war for for the with the media for four years and expect to win. No, I I used to get the last word all the time when I was in the chips, and uh, somebody say something about me, I you know I'd go on. We we had two million people, two three million people listening all the time, so I used to win all the time. But no, you're right. And uh, what was it? Ninety two percent of the uh, media uh, was against Trump, and he used to, every time he'd have those me those thirty two th- how did how did he lose like oh anyhow and he'd say um, the uh, you know fake news and all that stuff and everything you go to war with the media and um, the the one guy said Levy I think it was one of the or no I don't think it was one of the, said if you go to war with the media you're going to lose and that's why one of the reasons he lost and. Um, I feel sorry for the guy with the plywood. The, the, the guys that did the stores all ply. <laughs> I, poor guys, they did it. They, were, they thought Trump might win. because Now, let me get 72% of the people in Canada are happy Biden won. The Democrats, right? So after Biden won, by the way, Tim, I'll give you, I, I, he, he did. I'll give you he won fair, but I don't think he won square. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but I, you're winning, but I don't think he won square, uh, Pennsylvania and all that. So anyhow, they boarded up and they spent thousands upon thousands of thousands of dollars figuring that Trump might win. If, if Biden wins, nothing happens. They have a little dance and they make fun of him and they say things for him and, and, and stuff like that. And, and nothing happens. Now, if Trump wins, you'd have looting and burning and, and everything. So the, 72% of the people in Canada favor uh, Biden, who nothing happened. But if Trump had a win, there would have been burning and looting and, and stuff like that. I think some of the people might have been ticked off. <laughs> so anyhow, all I'm saying is that's why I love Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr went out on a limb, and uh, for some reason, I, and, and, and because he is like he is, and, and, and a great guy, and I think he's a great guy, and, but he didn't have to do that. But that's the way he played. Bobby Orr played full out all the time. If he believed in something, he did it. And he took an ad out in uh, New Hampshire. Didn't have to. Paid for it himself, by the way. He knew that he'd get in, in Massachusetts 100% for Biden. I think there was 73% to 23% something like that. He knew he was going to get he was going to get it and he did get he did it anyhow and you know he played the same way all out all the time. And I remember and he was always thinking of the team. He was always thinking of the team. And I remember he used to get in the first year uh, he played for me he had the greatest year ever that he ever had. He won the scoring title, the Norris, and the whole deal. I think he had he had 46 goals, 89 assists, plus 123. I just left him alone. I just let him play because I knew he was for the club. And this is the way he is in life now. He knew he was going to get it from uh, uh, the left wing, Massachusetts. He knew he was going to get it at, at, from everybody, but he went out, and that's the way he played. Now, would you say, I think that you were the only public figure uh, that, that stuck up for Bobby Orr? Well, I don't know about that. Uh, I, I, can't, I didn't read anyone or heard anyone else saying, you know what, 
that's good for him that he believes in what he believes in and he has the right to, to do what well, he wants. That's the way he played. And, um, it, well, well, I, I like the one thing you said when you were coaching Bobby. You said the one rule for the team was when Bobby has the puck, don't go offside. I, yeah, and I, <laughs> I said that in a meeting one time. You know, I never had many meetings, but I said, he's got the puck, don't go offside. He thought it was funny. I meant it. I mean, uh, just, you know, used to, when, when he used to get the puck, he used to make that little deke near the end. And if you went up, if you, you get, he had the puck, he got 46 goals, and the guy go offside got about 10. So I used to say, don't go offside when he's got the puck. Well, it must have worked. He got 46 <laughs> goals, 89 assists, plus 123, won the scoring title. And that's the way he played, and that's the way he lives today. And he didn't have to. He didn't have to take that advertisement out, but he believed in Trump, and I believe in Trump, too. <laughs> only person in Canada believes in Trump. Well, we, it was funny. We were saying that uh, yesterday, when we, or the last one, we were talking about Trump, and we made the bet and everything that uh, on the Twitter and on our Facebook page and everything, we've lost quite a few, well, not a quite a few, but a few viewers said that they were going to go. And I felt like saying, did you really was a surprise that Don Cherry was going to be- a stretch or what? Going to be for Donald Trump. Well, so. I'll tell you one thing. I lost, a, I lost a lot of money when I got off Sportsnet. And, and I'm not going to change now. I mean, that's uh, as I go down. As there's a there's a lot be, more be there's a lot of days behind me than there is in front of me. Talked about to our sponsors. Thank you very much for Spreads.ca, a First Nations owned online casino and sports book, tailored to Canadian businesses, which means you can use Canadian that's a native business, eh? Yeah, at First Nations in Quebec. So sign up now and enter the promo code GRAPES and they'll match your deposit 100% up to 500 bucks. So if you put in 50 bucks, they'll match 50 bucks. You get 15 free spins on there. You no, know, I, I, I hate to interrupt him, but I've got asked by a lot of people, how, if I want to put 50 bucks on uh, Green Bay, uh, you know, playing, how do I do it? Dude, just tell you, just tell us one more time. So you go on to Spreads, S P R E A D. Now how do you get on Spreads with this? Well, you got to go on the computer. Computer. Okay, okay. you got to go I'm on in Google. You got to go on Google or you got to go on a search engine. Go to Spreads, S P R E A D S dot C A, and then you have to log in or you got to. It's easy, eh? It's easy. Yeah, and then you sign in and then you put your email address and a password. And then you have to put some money in to the pot. So you do it through your. You know, you could do it through PayPal or Visa or credit card. Or you can use your credit card, eh? Right. And then once that's in there, you go onto the sports book page, and then they have just um, everything from... It's easy, though. I don't... Oh, very easy. You can. It's got everything from, I mean, from hockey right now, it's playing over in Europe, to Irish hurling, to... Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's got just about everything. And then they also have a casino if you want to play blackjack or, or anything like that. 